So recently, during this horrible calamity they've had us in, uh, I have gotten out my old book called um, Rock Hounding New York by Robert Beard. And I've decided to check a few places off my list. And today I'm in Catskill, New York. And we are looking at... I don't know if you can see this. This is a... This is Silurian rocks that are tilted and overlay even more tilted Ordovician rocks in an unconformity. This is a classic locality that shows a significant angular unconformity and is often referred to as the te Taconic Unconformity. And what's so interesting about this is, let's say, I'm trying to get a good view of it for you. I guess I'm not standing for it. The problem with rock hounding out of this book is, although it's very interesting, sometimes you hit a lot of areas where it's really hard to park. And uh, I always pick the wrong time of the year because it's always very snaky. I'm trying to find... Let's see, what are we looking at? Oh, this is what we want. I pulled my car up, so it was farther out of the way. So there is the Taconic Unconformity, right there. And it is tilted. Right in there. I hope you can see that. I'm not a, not a very good videographer yet. And this is, uh, these are nearly vertical, it's tilted, it's tilted against vertical beds of shales and sandstones of the middle Ordovician Austin Glen formation. And this was formed approximately 465 million years ago while the Rondau formation is approximately 420 million years old. But it's very significant. It's in a rock cut. This is the Leeds Jefferson Heights ramp off Route 23A in Catskill. And let's see. Um, when you look at this road cut, try to comprehend the vastness of time represented by the unconformity itself, which is only about 45 million years old. And then try to put into perspective the relative ages of formations and the tect tectonic events that resulted in this rock cut. And I, I wonder sometimes when I find these things, the guys who did the work to make these ramps and these rock cuts, did they realize what they were looking at? Maybe, maybe not, but it sure is interesting to me. I hope you can see that. I see an awful lot of shade. There's a big contrast. Um, but anyhow, the book goes on to say it is actually quite challenging and gives you a sense of what it really meant by geological time. And this book indicates that there is no collecting. So I'm going to leave well enough alone. And not to mention, I don't really have the right shoes on to walk in here. There's poison ivy and there are probably snakes. Every place I go, I find snakes. Every time I step out of the car, there's a big nest of, of garter snakes. Not that they're, they're a real threat, but who wants to step on a big car with garter snakes? Any kind of snake for that matter. So there it is. Pretty incredible rock formation.